Okay, so you said you are in love, Mr. and John Zimbetti, happier yes. than ever, but you also said you have your kids to thank for being set up. I gotta know, what is the story behind that? Well, the actual story is that single, I went out with a couple of girlfriends to listen to a, a band play locally in Malibu. Uh, he saw me with a couple of ladies and just thought, why, is she, why isn't she with a man? And contacted her, his son, who was uh, in uh, Berlin, I think, at the time. Uh, he called the mutual friend of my son, Sean, who's a rapper called Schwezi. Schwezi said, oh, no, I'll find out. Came back and said, no, she's single. And that was it. So between the two boys, our two sons, and Schwezi in the middle, it turned out that Schwezi had a, an event at the same place a week later. And as a very close friend of mine, I went to it. And he said, there's someone you need to meet. And that was it. And the rest is history. Yeah, four months later. I love yeah. that. And you know, you he's said here somewhere. he's here. He's here tonight. A little. Oh my gosh! Hi. Oh, he, he loves you. Look at how he looks at you. Okay. And you also, you know, John has said that he's written you love songs. He's written you love songs. He's shown you new places around LA. But what I love most is that you two celebrate your anniversary every single month. Every month. I love that. Whose idea was it? Where did that come from? Um. I think, I think he did the math and decided we're not going to wait a year at a time. We'll just do every month. That's amazing. What are some of those celebrations look like? What have you guys oh, done so oh, far? No, he shows up with a bunch of flowers. That's so yeah. You know what? We just stop for a moment and go, wow, aren't we lucky? But we do that every day anyway. But yeah. True love. Yes, he's, he's uh, definitely a romantic and he's fairly obsessed with Christmas. So, so this is the time. This is his time. <laughs> are you guys doing any new traditions this year, newly together for the holidays? What do you have in Actually, store? yes. Um, we, he has, um, I think, an 80 or 90-year-old Woody. You know, one of those, yes. those wonderful cars. I think uh, this is the 20th anniversary and about 30-plus Woodies will travel from Paradise Cove to Malibu, where the, near where the, um, uh, where the pier is, you know, Aviator Nation. And that's happening this weekend on Sunday. That's so exciting. We're doing that, and um, we sang a couple of carols uh, yesterday. Yesterday, I think it was. Uh, yeah, we've got families and everything. Has he written you a Christmas song yet? I think he needs to write you a Christmas song. He actually has an entire Christmas show that can be found on YouTube, which I have, of course, already watched many times. On the, um, what is it called? The, uh, what does they call it? Malibu, Malibu Music Room on YouTube. Yes, uh, the Malibus, they call it. Malibu, <laughs> so cute. O-O-Z. That was before he actually went to Malibu. That was when, when he was back in New York, yeah, he always wanted to be in Malibu, I think, surfing. So it was Hence the Woody and the surfing. And, the, and now he's living the dream. Now he's living the dream. Okay, and we are in for some amazing performances tonight. I'm curious to know, as an actress yourself, what is one of your earliest memories of the theater? of the theater um, would be ballet, probably. I was obsessed with ballet. I, I studied it since I could, you know, move. And, um, and I went to the Arts Educational Trust. I was in the, uh, in the uh, London Festival Ballet's Nutcracker. I was also dancing with the Kirov at Covent Garden. So I actually had the privilege of dancing with two of the great ballet companies um, when I was in England, before I hurt myself and became an actress by default. Thank God, thank God I couldn't do that. I was never built for that. No. No. Okay, and we are celeb secrets, so I'm curious to know, what is one secret about you that you think fans would be surprised to know? It could be a fun fact, a hidden talent. I think they know most everything about me. Um, hidden talent. I am really good at making salad dressing. See, that is a unique talent. Salad yes, I yes. Know. What is it? What is, because I like to do balsamic, lemon. Balsamic, and um, olive oil, garlic. Um, mustard and a few other things and everyone loves it. I love that. Now I'm going to try that. Okay. <laughs>